Hey everyone, this is Bremster and I'm coming to you with puzzle number 56 in my Sudoku problem series. Uh, this is a problem that was submitted by Frappy and um, yeah, uh, this is a disjoint problem. So this is one where you have to place the digit in the cell marked with an X, but um, the rules are that um, apart from the normal Sudoku rules, um, cells in the same relative position in each box cannot contain the same digit. So um, yeah, the, the disjoint rule is one that can often cause people to have, you know, to sort of stumble a little bit. Um, there is a link to the problem below um, where you can give this a shot. Um, now I've been, I, I will call out with this one a little bit that it is important to note that you must only have a solved digit in the cell marked with an X or the solution checker will not work. Um, but anyway, um, so what I'll do is I, I will pause for a few seconds so you can try this one out and then I'll be back to explain how this one works. Okay, um, yeah, it's a little unfortunate that um, because this is a tool designed to, uh, Sudoku Pad is a tool designed to do entire grids, and I've kind of got a workaround in place to allow me to do the partial solutions thing, but it does expect only the, when you do that, it does expect only the digits that are in there. If there are any other digits um, in the grid, it um, it turns around and says, that's not the solution, because it expects the other cells to be empty. Um, and yeah, I it's a bit of a problem because of things like this. It would be nice if I could turn around and say, if the correct digit is in the X, that would be fine. But that's a lot of work for Sven to do for just, you know, one series of videos. It's probably not worth it for him. So the way this works is because this cell needs to, um, we need to determine the cell. We can actually see that this cell sees more than we, we think. So it, um, so if we put in just all the candidates, we can immediately eliminate three and eight because it's in the same box. We can eliminate two and four because they're in the same column and row. Now, it sees a one because there is a one in the same position in that cell, and it sees a nine in the same position in, um, here. So because anything in the same position cannot be the digit. So one and nine are in the same position. So this also can't be a nine. So we're left with five, six, and seven. However, if we do some Sudoku, five in this, um, in box uh, three, because of these two fives, can only be here. And I'm using center marks because if I put a full digit in, that will cause the solution to not work. Similarly, six in box seven can't go here, can't go here. So this must be a six. So because this has to be a five and this has to be a six, this can't be a five or a six, and it must be the seven, which is the solution to the problem. Um, and it's basically just a whole bunch of pointing digits, including some disjoint ones. Um, yeah, I, I expect a lot, I'm going to get a lot of comments on this video of people turning around and saying, I solved it, but it didn't come up, or the solution checker said that it wasn't right. Yeah, I, unfortunately, that's just a limitation of me using a tool designed to solve entire Sudokus, and I'm using it to sort of fudge it in to only have single digits or a few different digits in. I'm not angry about that. That's just the limitation of what I'm trying to do. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, I... I love that I'm getting different constraints and thank you for RP for sending it through. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> thanks everyone for watching. And as always, good luck with your solving.